Literacy provides a window to the world, ensuring that all children seize their potential for future success. We can make this success a reality by investing in our children early, from birth, in ways that support parents and the caregivers and teachers as they encourage language and literacy development. <laughs> Mother Duck called. Bye bye, Mother Duck. The first three years of life provide the foundation for the development of the brain's architecture. Hey, yeah? Are you talking already? In fact, early experiences shape the way infants and toddlers learn the skills they need to operate effectively in the world. Early in life, young children begin to develop language and literacy through exploration and discovery, through everyday activities, Good morning. Good morning. Yay. and by listening to stories. Can you soar that. like an eagle? Look at the eagle. Young children build confidence as effective communicators through simple activities like singing, dancing, and even telling their own stories. It was a dinosaur or was it eaten? No. Relationships begets community. I mean, you're not in a relationship with just one, one person. Loving and caring relationships are central to early language and literacy. It is a child's family and caregiver's task to help infants feel safe in exploring their world. And it is our country's task to support these adults with training and resources for this important endeavor. It fosters trust, and when a child has trust in his or her life, they will be confident, they will move on and explore. What color is this fire truck? Red, that's right, it's red. You're so good, right? Give me five. Good job. Positive relationships lead to trust. Trust leads to confidence. When young children are confident, they are better able to explore and learn. Those children that receive that type of uh, dedicated care, that long-term care, that committed care, are going to be more successful in life, regardless of whether they put the uniform on or not. Early childhood professionals play an invaluable role in setting the stage for a young child's future success. If we do this right, then we'll have a society that, uh, you know, that teams together, works together, that has individual standouts, that has leaders, that has followers that are contributors, that want to make a difference, that want to continue to see our country to be a very prosperous country, one that is uh, economically and uh, nationally secure. In 1994, I retired after close to 27 years at Goldman Sachs, where I was a partner working with wealthy private investors and institutional investors. And my wife and I looked at the spectrum, the whole arc of life, and tried to figure out from the perspective of an investor, where was the best place to make an investment? We'd never looked at philanthropy as a charitable process, but always as an investment process. And it became very evident very early on that the highest return on investment is investing in very young children, actually from conception to about three years old. By supporting parents and those professionals who care for infants and toddlers early on, way before the child ever comes in the door of a kindergarten classroom, we reap significant dividends throughout the entire scholastic career of that child. If we put the money and actually utilize it early, then the money that we're spending for interventions at, at student, for students that are exiting primary or uh, middle grades or uh, uh, high school, uh, uh, it would be unnecessary. Early language and literacy matters. We need to provide parents with information and tools that encourage their young child's early language and literacy development. We need to dedicate resources toward early language and literacy training for professionals who care for infants and toddlers. It is time to invest in early language and literacy development, beginning at birth. In doing so, we open windows for all children to seize their potential.